Okay, so once you have a device or a group of devices on the flows page and we have an integration, either pre-built or a custom integration put on flows, um, we have that data going from the device to the integration. Now, some pre-built integrations will have a decoder at the endpoint, so there's no need for any decoder in here. Um, the device will send the data and it will de get decoded at the endpoint. However, if you are not doing that or if you have a custom integration that isn't doing that, you need to create a function. So a decoder in between that decodes that data before it gets to the endpoint. So to do that, you can create a function from, again, either from this flows page on the left hand side or by hovering over the little plus button. They take you to the exact same page and see, I don't have any functions in there yet. So let's just name it um, simple. My decoder function type decoder. We're just going to choose Cayenne LPP right now. Save that function. So that function is now saved under my function. So if you go back to flows under nodes, and click on functions. Now you'll see that my decoder show up. So you can pull this down into your flows page, make sure you hit save and it's there. So again, that needs to be in between the test device sending the data to the, the endpoint, the integration. So we're going to click on the edge, remove that edge. And now we can draw the line from the device or devices to the function, from the function to the integration and save changes. So now we have the device or devices sending data through that decoder and then it'll end up at the endpoint decoded already. Again, you don't have to use that function. Many pre-built integrations have a decoder at the end, but if they don't and you wanna make sure your data is decoded, this is how you create a function for that.